the aim of the study was to compare two groups of patients, uh, standard EVA, I mean standard treatment of uh, aortic abdominal aneurysm, compared to a second group where we put some coil in the aneurysm sac uh, to feed the sac and to, to get a, a complete thrombosis of the sac. Uh, also we find uh, two things. The first thing is that we decrease the uh, risk of endolic because we choose patients at risk for endolic with a, a lot of uh, uh, patent uh, lumbar and branch arteries that feed the sac. And we found uh, uh, a decrease of endolic and then a decrease of the diameter and volume of the sac in the coiled group compared to the other one. I think it could be a, a real improvement for patients because if you have uh, an aneurysm with many uh, patent lumbar arteries, if you feed the sac, you're sure to have less endolic, less reintervention, less cost for the follow-up because the cost of follow-up for a patient with endolic is very high, around 20,000 euro uh, during the five post-op years. So, I think it could be a real advantage for patients. Take-home message is, is that uh, uh, physicians should think about feeding the sac and, and companies should think about the next generation of, uh, of graft that need to prevent endolics and that need to, uh, to have a real advantage uh, compared to the last generation. Uh, research, we need to maybe to add some fibers on, on, uh, on different grafts and to compare two groups of patients uh, using standard uh, grafts and, uh, and to compare with grafts with, uh, with thrombogenic uh, fibers, thrombogenic coils around the, the graft and to see if there is really uh, a, a huge improvement for patients.